Today, we are surrounded from machines and robots in each and every sector of our life. So, what made robotics possible? Data. Data from the outside world in the form of temperature, light and sound. We humans collect this data from our nervous system. But the machines collect this data from their data acquisition system. A data acquisition system is a process of sampling signals that measure real world physical conditions such as pressure, temperature, etc. and convert the samples to digital numeric values which can be manipulated by the computer. Now let's move to the block diagram of data acquisition system. A data acquisition system the first block to data acquisition system is the physical system. The input from the physical system can be in any form, either an analog signal, pressure, temperature, displacement, etc. The second block represents transducers or sensors. Transducers or sensors are the first thing these physical quantities come in contact with. In a data acquisition system, a transducer converts the physical parameters to electrical signal. Then these signals are fed to signal conditioner. Signal conditioning is done to convert the sensor data to a form that can be converted to digital values. Can be by attenuating noise, amplifying signal, etc. The converted into suitable signal is fed to analog to digital converter which converts the analog signal to digital values which can be used by computer for processing, analysis, etc. For now, we'll concentrate on transducers and sensors. Signal conditioning and analog to digital converters are a concern for another week. Before we dive, deep into the types of transducers, let's see a qualities of good sensing units. Sensed signal from the sensing unit should have a linear relation with the physical quantity. Sensor should be small in size and free from corrosion. A sensor should have high accuracy and sensitivity. It should not allow any residual formation and it must have no eddy current and hysteresis loss. Let us continue with the different types of transducers or sensors. For number one, we have strain gauge. Strain gauge is an example of a passive transducer, that is, which requires external power. They use electrical resistance variation in wires to sense the strain produced by the applied force on wire. It can be used to measure weight, pressure, force, displacement, etc. As the physical quantity is applied in the form of tensile stress, the wire elongates and area of cross-section decreases. It follows R is equals to rho L by a law of resistors. As the length of the wire increase and area decrease, the resistance of the wire increases. Strain cost sensors can be easily used for the pressure and force sensing through the a robot arm. Next we have RT, that is resistance temperature detection. As we know, resistance of a conductor increases with increase in temperature. This property of a conductor is used to measure the temperature or to sense the temperature. 
variation in resistance with temperature can be shown by RT is equals to R0 multiplied by 1 plus alpha 1T plus alpha 2T square where RT is resistance at temperature T degree Celsius. R0 is resistance at temperature 0 degree Celsius. And alpha 1 and alpha 2 are the coefficients of temperature of the particular conductor. The conductor used for RTD must have large change in reactance per unit change in temperature for higher resolution, high value of resistivity so that lesser conductor is required for RTD formation. Resistance of conductor must have stable and continuous relationship with temperature. Most preferred material for RTD are platinum, nickel or their alloy. Tungsten is preferred at very high temperature and copper for educational or lab purposes. The quality of a RTD made from alloy of platinum and nickel depends on the ratio they are mixed. The more the platinum, more effective measurement of temperature. At number 3, we have thermistor. Thermistor is short for thermal resistor. They are generally made up of semiconductors. Most thermistors have negative coefficients of resistance with temperature. That is, resistance decreases with increase in temperature. Thermistor is a highly sensitive device. But with sensitivity comes the loss of linearity. A thermistor does not show linear relationship with temperature. Change in resistance with temperature is given by RT1 is equals to RT2 exponential to the power 1 by T1 minus 1 by T2 into beta. Here T1 and T2 are in Kelvin. The graph here shows the relation of resistance and temperature of a thermistor. A thermistor has a very high range than a RTD. Whereas a RTD varies up to a few hundred of degrees Celsius, a thermistor can vary up to 10 to the power 7 degree Celsius. Next, we have thermocouple. When two metals of different work functions are placed together, a potential generates between them, which is nearly proportional to the temperature. A thermocouple works on the same principle. A times change in temperature plus B times the square of change in temperature. Here, delta T is temperature difference between the hot thermocouple junction and the reference junction. Since A is very very greater than B, we can write V is equals to A. Now, we move to a most important transducer, LVD. LVDT stands for linear, variable, differential, Transformer As the name suggests, it works on the principle of transformer and also on the difference in the EMF generated in two of its secondary coil. A LVDT has a single primary coil attached to an AC supply. It is coupled with two secondary coils attached in series 
with each other. It has a solid permeable core which allows the flux from the primary coil of the LVDT to be transferred easily to the secondary coils of the LVDT. This arrangement can be used to measure displacement, pressure or force. As we move the core, these are the waveforms of the three coils in LVDT when observed on a CRO. The waveforms of secondary coils are at a phase difference of 180 degree due to their connection in series. And the last wave shows the output of the two waves which can be interpreted as displacement. When the core is displaced towards the secondary coil number 1, the amplitude of the EMF generated in the first secondary coil increases and the EMF generated in the secondary coil decreases. Thus, the output is in phase with the first secondary coil. When this core is displaced towards the secondary coil, the EMF generated in the prime in the first coil decreases and the EMF generated in the secondary coil increases. As a result, the output waveform changes the phase and has a dominant phase towards the secondary coil output. Advantages of LVDT are High range Frictional and electrical isolation Immunity from external factors causing aging and corrosion Ruggedness and low steris loss. Disadvantages of LVDT are sensitive to stray magnetic fields, dynamic response is limited by weight of the core, electrical response is limited by frequency of supply, temperature affects the performance of LVDT. The next type of transducers we have is a capacitive transducer. The principle of operation of a capacitive transducer is based upon the equation C is equals to epsilon A by D, which is equals to epsilon naught epsilon R A by D, where epsilon naught is the permittivity of free space and epsilon R is the relative permittivity. A is overlapping area and D is difference between the two plates. Capacitance of a capacitor can be changed by Change in the overlapping area Change in the distance between the plates And, the, and by change in the dielectric between the plates The advantages of a capacitive transducer are They require small force to operate Hence are suitable for small systems. These are extremely sensitive. They have a good frequency response as high as 50 kHz. Since they are small, they require small power to operate. Disadvantages of a capacitive transducer are it is affected by stray capacitance, shows non-linear behavior due to edge effect capacitance may change due to presence of dust and moisture temperature sensitive capacitive transducers can be used for measuring force pressure water level and the most major application they found today are condenser mics which enables a robotic system to clear 
what a user demands. This is all for now. Just like, share and subscribe our channel and be notified of the further updates. Thank you.